Huh? I can't hear you. Now. Welcome to Claremore High School football and ZTV's production of uh, your Zebra football. Tonight we're live from Lanto Field here in Claremore as your Claremore Zebras host the Tulsa Memorial Chargers in a big 5A4 district shootout that has uh, playoff implications written all over it. Uh, Claremore coming off a big win two in a row the last two weeks and uh, looking to continue on this uh, this uh, string of success. I'm Dave Jones, joined by Coach David Garut. Coach, what do you think tonight? Well, I think it is a crucial game. I think you uh, called it right there. Uh, they are three and three just as we are. So very comparable scores from the teams that we've played, that they've played. Um, it's definitely an important game, and the winner will keep their playoff hopes alive. The loser is going to have to dig theirself out of the cellar in order to make the playoffs. I think I think you're right. It's, it's not impossible, whoever loses this, to, to sneak in, probably the fourth place finish in the district. Districts in uh, 5A split into four eight-man districts, the top four teams from each district. Districts uh, move on to the playoffs. You don't. You want to be the fourth seed, though. You play a number one seed from another district at their place uh, first round. Usually a tough game to win. So Zebra's hoping to climb in the standings. Looks like Collinsville in 5A4. It might be the class of the uh, district. Uh, they're sitting at 6-0, and 3-0. and Really haven't been tested this year. Sky Tuke is also 2-1. and one. They look pretty good. Uh, actually, Sky Tuke beat this Memorial team last week, 41-19. to And uh, so... Maybe Collinsville, Sky Took are uh, one and two. Claremore, Tahlequah Memorial probably battling for the third, fourth, and fifth spot. But teams have still yet to come onto the field. The Zebras are coming out right now. It's Over kind yet. of uh, the, the rain has stopped. No rain here on the field at the current present time. Um, I know when I left... At lunch today, the temperature on my truck was 57, and driving here just a little while ago, it was 60. So it's actually warmed up a little bit. Um, nice evening, jacket weather maybe, a light jacket, never fans, nobody's bundled up too tight. In fact, people are taking some jackets off as we look down on the stands here. And so everybody expected the worst, and they're taking a couple of layers off right now, and uh, we're about a minute away from uh, what should be uh, the opening kickoff. Uh, they've already uh, had the coin toss. Did you pay attention, Coach, and see who won the toss? No, sir, I did not. <laughs> well, I uh, <laughs> was trying to clean my window here in front of me so I could see the field. Well, I brought some water and some napkins up here to try to clean my window off. I do know neither team has, uh, we don't see either team outside. There comes Memorial. Uh, Claremore's in there. there. Here comes Claremore okay, right Claremore's now. Claremore's coming field. out right now. I've got 659 on my phone. Tem temperature, that's what mine says, 59 degrees here at Lanto Field. I apologize. If anybody's at LaFortune Field, I called the game last week and said we were on the road, and uh, obviously we're not. Uh, my mistake. I didn't refer to the schedule, and uh, we are here tonight. The next two weeks will be next Thursday night. We'll be at Sky Took. That'll be a Thursday game, October 18th. We'll be at Sky Took. Then we'll go on the road to Pryor the following Friday, and then we'll come back the last game of the regular season at home and hosting the Tahlequah Tigers uh, on senior night, November 2nd. So this is uh, this is the fourth home game for the Zebras. We have one more, and that will be the last game of season versus Tahlequah. The next two are on the road. So it appears. Claymore Zebras are taking the field to kick off. Yeah, here comes. Mr. Gocher, Christian Gocher with the T in the ball. So I'd say we're kicking off. We'll be kicking off toward the east. We'll be going, Zebras will be going from west to east. Memorial's still in the back of the end zone. They haven't taken the field yet. And we've got our kickoff team out on the field. Here they come. Apparently Memorial has a very talented running back. We've seen a number of talented running backs this year. 
And apparently they have uh, another one that we'll have to face. Apparently they, uh, they like to run the ball. And we believe it'll be uh, number 13, Moni, Moni Jones. He's a senior running back, and we've heard a lot of good things about him. Coach, you saw him before game. He said he looked uh, pretty impressive. Definitely passed the eye test, uh, Dave. Just a good-looking athlete. Uh, just uh, watched him as I came walking back to the locker room. Just a decent size. Uh, looked kind of thick, but a well-built athlete. I will say it doesn't look like Memorial has – Huge numbers. They've got 11 on the field, and I, they might have another 20 kids on the sideline, maybe. So they're, they're, they've got short numbers over there, something that most of Tulsa Public Schools face. And I, But Memorial is, has had some success this year. Again, 3-3 three and three on the year, and, uh, and they have had success. And so this is a big, big game for the Zebras. We should be able to read these numbers tonight, Coach. This is the first Tulsa yes. Public School a uniform that we've been able to read. They're in all white. Uh, blue letters, definitely easy to see. And Gocher's set to kick off, and here we go. And he does the short onside. Ball lands at the 30, and it rolls around, and it's covered up by Memorial at about the 29-yard uh, line. So the uh, Chargers will take over there, first down and 10, at their own 29-yard line. Nobody really wanted to go uh, catch the kick. Uh, they had a kid finally go over there and grab it as about the time he was hit. Memorial lines up, shotgun, two backs behind the quarterback. Twins to the right, one wide out left. That is uh, Mojo Harris and Money Jones. The handoff is to Jones up the middle, and he's going to gain a couple before he's being brought down by a host of Zebra defenders. Looked like uh, Brown was in there, and also uh, Harley Hewen in on the tackle. The Chargers are going quick. Now they look over to the coach for the play. Harris in an up-back position. Jones behind the quarterback. And they hand the ball. No play action to Jones. Quarterback's looking. Now he's going to scramble, and he's being brought down and, uh, by big Manny Lazoya, 76. Good job, Manny. Nice sack there by Manny. Very good job. Just got to him about the time the quarterback got ready to take off. Big loss. Bring up third down and 13 for the Chargers. Big play right there by Lazoya. Showed his athleticism. Was able to run the quarterback down. Had, had the coverage pretty good. The quarterback, Antonio Cook, he's a senior. Jones behind Cook. Cook looks back, back to pass, pass, throws across the middle, and it's incomplete. And he's hit as he, as he throws, and the ball is low. Intended for number four, Tony Salim. Hit by Mason there. Thomas Mason hit him as he threw the ball, and the ball went low. Bring up fourth down for the Chargers. Connor Not, Aaron drops back deep for the Zebras. Very good three plays for the Zebras to get started on right there, Dave. The big one, Manny Lazoya with the big sack. That was huge. We want to. I think if you keep Memorial in third and long, you're going to have success because that was yes. not a real impressive looking throw. Good snap. Punt oh low, my. low punt, but it's going to roll. Aaron stays away from it. Zebra's going to take over the ball just on the Memorial side at their 49-yard line. So the Zebras will take over. 10.32 left to go in the first quarter. And your Claremore Zebras coming to uh, start the game. Good heads-up play there by Ree by finding out where the ball was and stopping in his track so the ball didn't hit him in the back or on the shoulder. I'm already going to complain. Ball never got to the 50-yard line. That's where they put it. Yes. First and 10 for the Zebras. Coleman Parsons behind Charlie Murdoch. Two receivers, receivers right, one left. Pitch the ball. It looks like Parsons is going to throw it, and he has a man wide open. He throws it up. Oh, and it's just incomplete. Intended for uh, Jacob Gilmore out there. He had him. There wasn't anybody within 15 yards of Jacob. Yes, that's a pass. And you just want to lay up just, and, and let him catch Coleman it. Coleman threw it high, but he just uh, – Wow, that would have that would have been that's huge. That's a touchdown. That was it. There, yeah, there was. 
And anyway, bring up second and ten for the Zebras. A little trickery on the first play. Yes. Kids are split left. Skinner split right. And officials call timeout. Timeout Claremore. I don't know what happened there uh, that we had to uh, – you think we didn't have the right personnel in or what? what's uh, Coach Hurt? I don't know if we had the right formation because as soon as we set the formation, he was calling timeout. I didn't really pay attention to the referee to see how quick he set the ball, but the pass was thrown about 40 yards downfield, 35, and it took a little while for him to get back to the huddle. So I didn't really pay attention. Usually on a long pass like that, they give a little bit more time to set the, set the ball in play. Anyway, here we go. Everybody seems ready to go now. Kedger left, Skinner right, Parsons behind Murdoch. And the pitch is to Parsons around the left side. He's looking for room and he picks up room. He's gonna pick up about seven yards. Good, tough run. Took a quite a hit there mm -hmm. by Josh Medill. Nice cut by Parsons getting up in the hole on the sweep and uh, getting what he could and Making a, now they spotted about six yards, so it brings up third down and four. Here we go, manageable. Third and four is not horrible. Kedger split right, Skinner left. Parsons behind They've Murdoch. got nine in the box right now. No free safety. And they hand the ball off to Parsons. He's looking for yardage, and he is right at the 40, and he got across the line. Yes, It'll be a that's first a good down. hard run by Parsons. He was stopped initially at the 40-yard line, kept his feet moving, and then rumbled uh, for a couple more. Good job, Coleman Parsons. Tackled there by Antonio Cook. He was the free safety that had walked up li at linebacker depth. There was, was, there was no deep help on either one of our two talented receivers. No, man, I don't know how sound that is. A post route. Now we've got 27, a little deeper. Play action. Post and route. there's the post to Kedzior, and it over, mm -hmm. um, Murdoch overthrows him. Uh, he was open. Um, I'm sure our coaches saw that too and started licking their chops. Anyway, bring up second and 10 for the Zebras. Just slightly overthrown. Ball at the Memorial 38 yard line, 919 to go first quarter. Zebra's initial drive. Second down and 10. Mason and Kedger are split right. Skinner and Gilmore left. Bryson Brown, empty backfield. Save quarterback. Kedger are in motion. They hand the ball off to Kedger, and he is he has room, and he's looking for more, and he's driven out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. First Good down. for Claremore, first down. Nice run there. That's totally a timing play. You put that slot man in motion, you get the center of the quarterback. He's got to time that perfect, and just so he gets the snap and hands the ball off to uh, to uh, the slot man moving in front of him. Is that a pass if he was to fumble that forward handoff? Well, is that a no, pass? No, it's, it's a handoff unless he tosses Actually it to Actually loses control yes. of the ball. Well, if he first tosses and, it to him. First and 10 for the Zebras. Memorial 24-yard line. Murdoch, same played Gilmore, other way. And he's met and dropped after about a two-yard gain. Good form tackle there by one of the Chargers. You Looked catch like that Cook number again. I think it was Cook. All right. There was two guys. One form tackle. It was either Cook or or Hubbard. Bring up uh, second eight. It looks like we officials have stopped uh, the clock. Equipment issue with one of the Chargers. We're ready now. 8.48 left to go. Opening quarter. Second down and eight for the Zebras from the Memorial 22-yard line. Parsons. Murdoch takes a snap. Field. Looking deep for Skinner. And uh, Skinner oh. doesn't make the catch. Had it in his hands and couldn't come down with it. We'll bring up third and eight. A little bit of contact there, but I really kind of think a good no call. Yeah, I don't know. I think there was some contact both ways. I think he uh, he bumped Skinner and Quentin pushed a little bit and no that, call. That throw from Murdoch was just a little underthrown. I really kind of think that we can pick on either corner a lot shorter than our receivers. Three receivers left. Kids are left. 
Thomas Mason, lone sp split right. Looking left, screen. gets the ball screen. Get up field. Skinner's going to be short of the first down. Bring up fourth down and about three from the 18-yard line. Maybe a little too far tonight for Gocher's leg. It'd be a 35-yard field goal. And they're not running him out there. We're going to go for it. Fourth down and three from the Memorial 18-yard line. Looks like they're going a little power. Nash Blackwell comes in the game. Another big tight end. Parsons checks in. Ten seconds to go on the play clock. Going to have to hurry a little bit. No free safety. They've got ten in the box. They pitch the ball to Parsons. He's looking for room. He's coming around back to the left side. And Coleman's going to get the first down. Great Excellent job. job. He didn't see anything right. They had it. They had it stuffed over there on that right side. Coleman said nothing here, so I'm going to go back the other way. And he scrambles, picks up about eight yards. Good for a Claremore first down. Good It'll, job. It will be just outside the ten yard line. So it'll be first and ten from the Memorial eleven yard line. 7.43 to go. Very good job by Murdoch and Skinner uh, picking up blocks when he reversed his field there to help him get the first down. Jace Hightower now in the backfield, giving uh, Parsons a little rest. They hand the ball off to Jace on the left side, and he's looking for room, and Jace is going to squeak in there. Touchdown, Claremore. No Jace flags. Hightower, no flags. Touchdown, Claremore. Jace Hightower, 11-yard touchdown run. That was well blocked right there. Bryson Brown did a good job sealing his man off. Opening drive for Claremore. They march 50 yards in a little over three minutes. And your score, six to nothing right now, awaiting the Christian Gocher extra point. Snap down, and the kick is blocked. Ooh. And it's picked up by a Claremore defender, and it's blown no good. Uh, that it took a little too long. It looked like the timing wasn't exactly... Perfect on that, and the Memorial defender came from their uh, left side, left offense's side. right side, just and like he come free, Dave. Yeah, it did. nobody touched him, and he laid out, and it wasn't a real tough play for him. Anyway, so it's 7.38 to go. Claremore leads 6 to nothing, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsors. RCB Bank is a community bank. They are ready to meet the financial needs of our communities, its businesses, and its customers. At the same time, RCB Bank is a responsible citizen and a business within the communities they serve. Visit any of the four RCB Bank locations in Claremore. Welcome back to ZTV's production of Claremore High School Football. Claremore jumps out to an early 6 to nothing lead against Memorial Chargers as they take the opening, their opening possession, drive 50 yards, capped by a Jace Hightower 11-yard touchdown run, and the Zebras are set to uh, kick off again. What went wrong there, Coach? Not much? Except for the extra point, the drive okay. was pretty good. Yep. Yep. Nice to get started off on a positive. We've got Cook deep here for Memorial, and Gocher set to kick off. We probably won't kick it to Mr. Cook. And it comes oh, to number 10, Demetrius Moore, and he fields the ball at the 24-yard line, and he's dropped. He doesn't pick up a yard. Host of Zebras there. Looked like 18 got to him first. Thomas, Thomas Mason. Mason uh, along with a couple of others. Looked like McBride for Memorial kind of fumbled the uh, receiving the ball in the air, and then he, when he got it, we were there. Mason was there. Memorial quarterback, senior Antonio Cook. Moni Jones behind him, senior. Running back, talented kid. And we hand the ball off to Jones. And he looks, look, he runs tough, and he's going to pick up about two yards over the left side. Nice job of pursuit by the Zebras. Three or four people on the tackle. Mason, Connor Aaron. 26, Mason Hayes was there. Yes, those three. It's about what he picked up on their first play while Bring ago. Up second and seven. That was the same exact play they ran the first series. Mojo Harris now, this lone running back. I don't know if Jones is still in the game. 
he might have left with the yeah, he looks like he was getting some uh, helmet fixed on the sideline. They hand the ball off to Harris. Same play, left side, and Harris is uh, bottled up. Oh, Oops, bottled up, but he squirted out. He's going to get a first down. Oh, we got a penalty flags on the play. Um, That's either a face, face mask, mask or a hold, one of the two. I'm going to bet face mask. It looked like we had him bottled up for a I thought he was going to be held to no game. loss. We're yeah. trying to tackle too high there. We've got to get lower. Mojo Harris, the running back. Hightower was there on the tackle. Personal foul face, face mask, mask called on the Zebras. Us. Another 15 yards. It's Bill, all right. Bill and Pretty checking into the game. The ball will be placed at the 50-yard line. So, good play for Memorial right there. 6.34 left to go. First quarter, Zebras lead 6 to nothing. Our defensive coaches are yelling something, getting trying to get lined up. I think we got lined up. Oh, they moved. They're, they're big oh, man moves. That's legal procedure That is right a legal there. procedure. Nobody wanted to the call it. The line judge wasn't even watching it here on our side. It should be his call. He's the only one who didn't throw his flag. Even though he was in a two-point stance, you can't Once you stimulate. put your hand on the ground. Well, he didn't have his hand on the ground, though, Coach, but he was in a oh. two-point stance. But I think he simulated okay. the start of a play, and I think that okay. uh, that is illegal also. First and 15 for the Chargers from their 45-yard line. Hand the ball off to hand, number four. Hand sweep, he cuts up. And he's going to pick up. He's still running. He's running hard. That was number four, Tony Salam. Tristan Hampton on the tackle, along with Dylan Pretty. Not before he picked up over 15 yards. Bring up first and 10 for the Chargers from the Claremore. 18 yard play. 37 yard line. We just got to worry about tackling a little lower. Cook the quarterback. Harris and Jones, hands the ball off to Jones. Straight he drives ahead. up the middle and he's going to get about 10 yards, about eight, eight, nine yards. Bring up second down and one for the Chargers. Tickle by Connor Aaron. Nothing fancy there, handed it off to Jones and he powered his way up the middle. Our defensive front has got to whoop the, whoop the Chargers here, take control of that line. Jones the lone running back behind Cook. Cook drops back to pass, throws deep to number 10, and it is knocked away. Mm -hmm. Wow, a little close. Demetrius McBride was the intended receiver. Jacob Gilmore was back there. I thought Jacob maybe jumped a little too early, timed his jump just a little too early, and, and gave McBride a chance to uh, make the completion. Second and two. They, they look deep there. They think they can pick up the first down. They, this is four down territory. They, well, you know, the face mask penalty kind of sparked them a little bit here, and they've had several positive plays running the ball. Mojo, no, that's Jones behind. Uh, Third and two. Behind Cook. It would be nice to come up with a big play here. Let's stop him for no gain. Oh, they throw the ball across. What are they doing? Incomplete, fourth and two. You know, Coach, I, I'm good for Claremore, but they run the ball just right up the middle every time. Now they think they want to throw it. The cook is the quarterback's limping around like he's hurt. Fourth and uh, fourth and two. He's he's looks like yeah, he's he's, uh, he's gimpy. Bit. He's gimpy. I don't know if it's a knee or an ankle, but something is bothering him. All right, fourth down and two. And they hand High the ball snap. off to Jones, and he's hit, but he drives, and it's going to be close. It's going to be short. I don't think Looks he got like it. I don't hair. think he got it. Pins on the spot. Nope, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. No, they he's had to get, get to the third. No, he's he didn't get, get it. to the 27. Official says, no, sir. Yeah. Turnover on down. So with 4.59, a big defensive stop for your Zebras, and they I take over. I got so over. excited I didn't see who made the play. Uh, I want to say it, it may was, have been Mason Hayes. Let's give it to him. Okay. I got so excited that we stopped him. First down, Zebras. Now what we need to do is take some time off the clock and go down and score. I think they teach that in broadcasting 101. Okay, I know. We didn't, we didn't do well in that class, I don't think. 
Murdoch takes the snap, hands the ball off to Hightower around the right side. Jace is looking for room. He's rumbling, and he gets outside, and he's going to pick up about two before him being run out of bounds. Uh, Jace Hightower, nothing really. He, he strung that thing out looking for something to open, and he ended up getting a couple yards. So to bring up second down and eight for the Zebras. Ran out of b- bounds there by uh, Washington. Kids here split left, Skinner right, Hightower behind Murdoch. The way they load the box, they're just tempting us to throw. And hand the ball off to Hightower, and he's looking for something. And Get there's up in a little it. bit of hole. Go, kid. He's still he's fighting. Still riding. Yep. All right. He picks up four, bring up third down and two. Um, the third down and one for the Zebras. Um, Jace did a good job. Got hit initially. It looked like there was a hole there, and he didn't hit it very yes. hard. But then uh, once he did get hit, he worked his he legs kept hard. He hard. kept fighting hard and got, did a good job. 419 left to go first quarter. Your Zebras lead six to nothing. Big third down play here for Claremore. Third and one. Hightower's the running back. Bryson Brown, the blocking back on the left side. And they hand the ball to Hightower up the middle, and he gets the first down. He's uh, nice hard run. He's, he's still, still running, and they're pushing and, they and pushing. The and he's going to get out to the 45. Excellent yard job line. of the lineman pushing the pile, and and him continuing to work. He picked up about six there, coach or seven. Yep. He went out across the 45, then they mark it back at the 45. I don't understand it. I don't know. Can you, in high school can you push the pile? You know, yes, now you illegal. can. Okay. Used to be illegal, but now you can. All right. Kids here split left, Skinner right, Bryson Brown in the blocking back position along the right side. Hightower still a running back. Murdoch under center, takes the snap. Counter trap. Off, counter Get up trap. in there. Get up in it. Right Jace there. looking for room, and he's going to pick up nice. about eight yards. He's going to get out of bounds at the Memorial 47-yard line, 317 to go first quarter. Claremore leading six to nothing. It's the Jace Hightower show this time. He's He got hit pretty good there. He's kind of. Nice job there by the line, the guard and the tackle pulling. Um, that was 52, Darius Blevins and Harley Hewen pulling. We've called their name a lot. Skinner split left, kids here right. Still no, look at them, but no, I mean, they're just daring us to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. And here we go. We're going to try it. Murdoch finds Kedzior. And Both what, hands. Yeah. What he in puts the up world? one hand. I don't know. What in the world? That's a catchable ball, Dave, I believe. With, I mean. Looked like he jumped up with one hand. As good as he is, that wasn't one of his better efforts. I don't know. You we know. beat it. We beat him. We've either been open and the pass not on the money. Or the pass, or on, pass the money. on the money. <laughs> That's oh, a well. touchdown. That's two touchdowns that I can remember. We did score on that opening drive. Here we go, 311. Third down and two for the Zebras, and we hand the ball off to Hightower, and he's not going to get there. He's met in a hole right there. They had too many guys up on that side. Our punt team comes out. He's met by Alex Suarez in the hole. Ryan Connor comes out, sophomore, to punt for the Zebras. Jones drops back deep for the Chargers. Low snap. Connor gets the ball away, and it's going to hit and roll. And it's going to roll good. This is going to work out awesome for the Zebras. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. 38 for the Zebras. Threw it back. That was uh, Valen Williams. He got down there. You don't, you know. He hustled. He did hustle. And, you know, a lot of people say, why don't you let it roll to the one? Well, it gets kind of froggy. That ball does sometimes down there. It can. It can bounce crazy, and he did a good job of getting there and just throwing it back, and Claremore uh, downs the ball at the five. You know, something that I, I see now, and I don't know if it's an emphasis by officials, but they wherever the ball is downed at, they tend to put it on a line. It makes it easier for them. Yes, I guess for the chains and you make sure you start out accurate. But You don't think it was at the five where the ball should be down? No, it words. was about inside the four. Here we go. Four. First and ten for the Chargers. 229 first quarter. Hand the ball off to Jones, and he is uh, met at the line of scrimmage. There's a flag. It's probably going to be a hold. 
Claremore's going to keep him to about a four-yard gain, but we'll back him up, I would guess. He runs hard. Hampton's one of the ones getting up off the pile. Well, did you see the signal? Uh, not yet. He hadn't called it. He gave something, but I, I didn't see what well, it was. Well, they're talking to us. I was looking at somebody walking yes, up. Yes, it's the, against them. So the ball's going to at least – the ball's going to – holding. Holding yep. is what uh, the PA announcer here says, and he's yeah. right half the time. <laughs> uh, kind of like a squirrel in a nut. Yes. Are, that's our yes. PA announcer. Just like us. That's our motto. Every once, Every in, a once while. in a while. First down and 12, and they hand the ball off to Jones, and he's met nice job. by Tristan Hampton. Nice, no gain. Nice low tackle by Kristen Hampton. He got low and wrapped up both legs right there. Bring up second down and 12 for the Chargers. You know, I'm a little late with this right now, but something that I've seen us tonight is our quarterback's been under center instead of working out of the shotgun most of the time. Mm -hmm. I know on uh, jet sweeps we've been uh, in the shotgun, but other than that, we've kind of been underneath center. Second and 13 for the Chargers, and it's, oh, it's fumble, fumble the ball, and oh, Zebras get it. on it. Oh. It looks like it's a touchdown. Yeah. Picked up by 46. Yes. 46, 46. That's Jacob Velazquez. Jacob Velazquez, touchdown, Claremore. Yes. Nice defensive play. Good snap to their quarterback, yeah, and he, he was, just fumbled he, the he snap. He fumbled the snap. It may be a little hard. Yes. Anyway, fortunate for Claremore. Ball was on the ground. Velasquez was there. Falls on it. Easiest touchdown he can ever score. Claremore goes up 12-0. Goethers in to try the extra point. Kick is up, and it is good this time. So, with one minute, 28 seconds to go in the first quarter, your Claremore Zebras lead 13 to nothing. At this time, we will hear from one of our fine sponsors. Pixley Lumber Company stocks over 35,000 products for the professional contractor and the serious do-it-yourselfer. From forest products to floor covering, from gypsum and insulation products to tools and hardware, and from roofing and siding to millwork and doors, Pixley Lumber Company invites you to experience the quality the service, and the expertise that others have known since 1963. Visit Pixley Lumber at 715 West Will Rogers Boulevard. Welcome back to Claremore High School Football, where you're watching your Zebras jump out to a 13 to nothing early lead on the Tulsa Memorial Chargers. 128 to go in the first quarter. Uh, one good offensive drive for the Zebras and a great defensive play there by Jacob Velasquez jumping on the fumble in the end zone. That's how the Claremore has got their 13 points. Boy, and, their deep men are awful wide. I'd almost kick it right down the middle of the field. Yeah, short, short kick. Oh, it's to over here to 10. this side. And he's looking for room. He, he's looking. He, he got th lit up a while ago. He's still running. Yes. You see number five kind of trailing him, looking for a pitch. pitch it looked to me yes. like. Anyway, Memorial will take over on their 26-yard line, first and 10, minute 19 to go, first quarter. Looked like Thomas and Hayes there on the tackle. I tell you what. Somebody hit them early and spun them around. Let's get a three and out and see if we can't get their dauber down a little yes. bit and go score again, and, and, and I, you, know, you, might see, you might see a little give up in them. Well, the quicker you can get on them, the better off you are. Jones, alone lone setback. Tailback and the handoff is to Jones. That's and outside, and uh, he's going to get he's going to get three or four. You know, I, I we've seen some very good running backs, and I know we've we've called plays for the opposing team quite a bit. We know what kind of works, and like that kid from um, Edison. Edison, uh, last week or the week before last, he has over 300 yards in the first half. Yes, I mean, and he and he, against he, us, he, he several could, times we're thinking, oh. why don't they give him the ball? Well. I might have to go into coaching. I hear it's pretty easy. Hey, I've been there and done it. It'd be great if you had an orphanage to coach where you I, didn't have parents, right? I do it a lot on Saturday. There you go. Hand he's off to Jones, it. and he's met at the line, and he keeps fighting, and he's, he's going to get the first down. Finally brought down there by, by Velasquez. Velasquez. 
Yes. We had him stopped at the line of scrimmage, and we didn't wrap up. We got to wrap up. First he's and strong ten. kid. Yeah, he's strong. He's he's limping around a little bit too, yes. though. Look at that. He's yeah. He's, he's looked like he don't like the maybe the contact or. Oh, he's. Uh, yeah, he he can't hardly stand up. He's not coming he out, looks but he's like limping back there. Looks like my good friend there. Barry Reynolds on a Saturday night. Oh my lands. That's bad shape there. <laughs> and they fake Pass. the handoff to a play action outside and uh, incomplete. Bring up second down and 10. Covered by Hightower, pass way overthrown. And really not a whole lot of pressure when he threw it. Nine seconds to go, first quarter. Second and 10 for the Chargers. Jones is still in the game. He looked over the sideline like, come get me, but nobody ran out there. You know, our flag is, uh, there's not any wind blowing anymore. It's a nice evening. Yes. Hand the ball off to Jones, and he, he's, uh, he's not what he was the first couple of runs. He, he, uh, he didn't look right there. What Tackled by Wofford there, Matt Wofford, yes. He, uh, they're kind of they're complaining talking each, at each other. Yeah. Bring up third and long, third and 15 for the Chargers, and that's the end of the first quarter. And we will be back. Your Claremore Zebras leading 13 to nothing. We're going to hear from another one of our fine sponsors who bring in ZTV. We'll be back for the second quarter in just a moment. Highfield Properties has been developing new neighborhoods in Claremore and Rogers County since 2004. Their neighborhoods include homes in all price ranges, from starter homes to larger custom homes. It takes the perfect piece of property to become a beautiful neighborhood, and Highfield Properties has the tools and experience to make it happen. To find out more, call 918-381-1637. Welcome back to ZTV, Claremore High School football. Start of the second quarter, your Claremore Zebras up 13 to nothing on Memorial Chargers in this big 5A4 district battle. Memorial is facing third down and 15, and uh, big down, and we like these third and long. Memorial has not had a whole lot of success throwing the ball, and the quarterback doesn't look like he, he does a great job of doing it. What do you think, Coach? Uh, it's obvious throwing down. Jones is in the slot. We got trips to the top, to the right. Looks like a screen over screen the middle. Screen to Jones Boom, and Hampton right was right there. He, he sniffed that out. Oh, oh and we're gonna have uh, we're, we're gonna have, have a late hit. Seth Seagull is gonna get called for roughing the passer. That gum it. Oh, shot herself in the foot right there. I tell you what, Hampton, Hampton knew that was uh, the play. I didn't see it. I didn't see how bad it was, but well, definitely could have could have let up if the referee's calling it. You know that's our ball. Oh yeah, we got oh, yeah. him stopped. Is it automatic first down? Because it's going to be. Yeah, there. It looks like it's. Uh, it will be a. We got another flag way oh, over there. Oh, we do have another flag way over there. I don't know. Was that defensive holding? Uh, they called the roughing the passer first down. So whatever it is, uh, Memorial has a new lease on live here, 11:51 second quarter. Can't do that, Zebras. Can't not do that. Can't beat good teams doing things like that. We've had a couple of uh, long penalties already. Yeah, we had a personal foul face mask. And now roughing the passer. Kedzie are playing a little defense now. I don't know if you've noticed he's in there playing yes, safety Yes, I position. saw him a while ago playing free safety. They were in motion. Tailback's in motion. He he's brought down by Velez Velez Velez. Velez. Nice defensive play by Jacob. Yeah. I think we take the play. I think we yes. take the play. He declined that. They gave him an awful lot of uh, <laughs> forward motion. <laughs> forward progress. Illegal shift is declined. Second Bring up down. second down. I, they call him lost three yards. Coaches uh, decided that they would take the three-yard loss and a down, rather the five-yard loss, and replay it. So bring up second down and uh, 13 for the Chargers. The ball on their own 44-yard line, 11.46 to go here in the second quarter. As Claremore's leading 13 to nothing. Twins to the top, slot left, Jones in the tailback. 
position. Cook hands the ball off to Jones up the middle, and he's he's a tough runner. He's going to pick up about four or five yards. Bring up third down and eight, another third and long for the Chargers where we like them. He's tripped up by Hampton there. He didn't wrap up, but got enough of him, make him lose his balance. Looks like they're playing Kedger on passing downs. Okay. Hargrove is in, and then an obvious does passing have excellent down. speed. Looks like we might be in two man. Whether we're, oh, they call that the DBs, I, uh, DBs uh, underneath are manned up, and we got two safeties behind them. They're He's back, and they're deep going the deep, middle. and it is almost intercepted, just in and out of hands of Quentin Skinner. They bring up fourth down for the Chargers, and eight yards, punting down. Ten yards. Looks like fourth and ten. What well, their their offense is staying on the field. Here the here comes yes. the punt team. You know, uh, by watching their punter, we might be glad we didn't intercept that. Oh really? Because their punter a while ago kicked it about five foot high. Oh yeah, he did. That's right. We've seen. I think him he was trying to hit it, hit one of our players. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of Chargers that are limping. There's uh, Tony Salam. We've called his name. He's limping out there for the Chargers. Anyway. Number 14, Juan Rodriguez will be doing the punting for the Chargers. Connor Aaron back deep for the Zebras, standing at his own 24-yard line. Whistles blow the play dead. Timeout, I think. Timeout, uh, timeout called by Memorial. So at this time, there's 10.52 left in the second quarter. Your Claremore Zebras leading 13 to nothing. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. The professionals at Eye Care of Claremore are among the finest in the area. Dr. Eric Kuykendall, Dr. Lauren Sisper, and Dr. Kale Fulps will all make you feel at ease as they get you on track to the best optical health you can achieve. Call 918-341 2020 to make an appointment and visit iCareofClaremore.com today. Welcome back to Claremore High School Football. We're at Lanto Field here in Claremore, where your Claremore Zebras lead the Memorial Chargers 13 to nothing, 1052 second quarter. Memorial set to punt. Connor Aaron deep for the Zebras, standing at about his own 24-yard line. Juan Rodriguez, the punter for Memorial. Good snap. Rodriguez gets the kickoff. That's a lot better kick. Oh, it is a good kick. Connor picked the ball up. Oh, that first bounce would have been a good one. He kicked oh, it. Oh, he knocked he, it way down there. Walked, yeah, there. <laughs> That's not where it ends up. It's where you touch it. The Zebras will take over at about their 17-yard line, 10.40 to go, second quarter, leading 13 to nothing. Um, we haven't, you know, we've run the ball fairly well, and we've had receivers open, just haven't been able to connect. Charlie, uh, Charlie Murdoch missed a couple early, and, the, and when he finally was on target, our receivers uh, – uh, didn't catch it. So we've had a couple of Skinner and Kedger both had balls that they probably wish they had back. They're both split right. Murdoch takes the snap and the flag's flying. Uh, probably a procedure penalty against the Zebras. It is, procedure. it is procedure. Bring up first down and 15 for the Zebras. Back the ball up to the 12-yard line. 10.38 to go second quarter. You know, it's a great football night weather-wise. What do you think? Oh, nice and cool. It's not too cold. Wind's not blowing. No rain. People are laughing, smiling, kissing babies in the stands. Zebra's got to Murdoch minimize the penalties. We're going to pick up a four. A little quick pitch out there. Who was out there? Was that uh, Jacob Gilmore out there? Yes, that's Gilmore with the catch. Picked up about four. Not didn't really give him a chance to run with it. It was the ball was low. Jacob did a good job of catching the ball. Bring up second and fifteen. Second and twelve. Three receivers split wide right. Murdoch 
looking right, and he hits uh, Gilmore across, oh, the and he dropped, dropped the ball. The oh, back bar, judge bar, bar, is bar. calling it incomplete. It was. He, that he hit him right between the numbers. He went in that middle where it kind of gets a little tricky sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the boogeyman sometimes laying in there ready to lay you out. But there wasn't anybody. He had a chance to catch it, turn up field, and put a move on the guy that was going to be there. Third down and 12 for the Zebras. Skinner, Gilmore, Kedger, split right. Murdoch hits Kedger out of the backfield, and he picks up. Uh, he runs out of bounds. He's going to, oh, oh we didn't. just short. Yes. Punt team coming out on the field. Going to be fourth down and one where this ball is down inside the 30-yard. Oh, we're going for it. Boy, I tell you what, uh, I'd like to see that that play there because he caught it well in bounds. Very seldom do you see a kid just not be able to stay in bounds there. I'd sure like to see a replay of that from their sidelines, of which I know we don't have. But What do you think? We're going on two here? Hand the ball off to handling ball off to Parsons or going on two. Uh, they got the box loaded. Yeah, and we're gonna call, call time out. Yep. Yep. You know we didn't. We got the play out there late. Didn't give it a whole lot of chance to. Uh, yes, get but, out there quick. Yep. So anyway, Claremore punt team will probably be coming on the field. I'm guessing. Now you never know. I'm not a coach. Here's where you holler punt, punt, punt about four times real loud and then run your offense out there late. That's uh, is that fair? Is that legal? Can yes, you do that's that? legal. Really? You can call any team you want to it together at any time on the sidelines. So trickery is legal in football? Oh yes. But is it ethical? If it works. Okay. No, I, I don't just know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, what are you saying? That uh, <laughs> all's you, fair in love and war. Yes, you take advantage of what they'll give you. Speaking of love and war, my friend Brady Price is still looking for a date. I understand. He does have a new haircut. He does have like. he's, he's got all, a high and tight. He, he does. Braces are off. Yes. Uh, no. No, braces aren't oh. off. But they will be soon. There you go. Punt team in for the Zebras. Good snap. Connor gets a boomy punt off. And it's going to land uh, about the 40 and it's going to roll dead about the 42 yard line. Ryan Connor did a good job. 940 to go. Zebras leading 13 to nothing. Memorial will get the ball again. They look a little banged up. They look like they don't really want to go hard. Zebras yes. must be putting some pretty good knocks on them. I just, you know, you always want to get another score there. Penalties right there. We had a five-yard penalty. We had uh, stepped out of bounds with the first down there. But uh, started, yep. started that series off with a five-yard penalty. Yep, procedure penalty, and then... Uh, I just never got anything going there. Anyway, Zebras leading 13 to nothing, 9.40 to go. Second quarter, Memorial with the ball on their own 43. Hands the ball off to Jones up the middle, and he picks up about nine yards. Tripped up again. He falls forward for several more. Brought down there by Kedger. Bring up second down and one. Uh, second and two. They spotted it back farther. Uh, that was just a straight-ahead handoff over right tackle. Big Manny Lazoya is over there, 6'4", 330. Takes quite an effort to move him. Hand the ball off to Jones again and on the right side. He's, he's mad and brought That's down. Good heck, job, Thomas Mason. Nice hit by Mason there. Mason just seems to be getting a little better and a little better. He does. He's not very day. big. He uh, plays that deep. When, when I heard mm -hmm. he was our defensive end, you know, Thomas is uh, – He's only 6'2", 180, and he doesn't look big down there at all. But he's playing better every time. His grandparents are in town from uh, Jonesboro. I oh, met them. Good. Met them at the pre, uh, pre-dinner and uh, bring up third down and four for the Zebras. Or for the Memorial Chargers. I'm sorry. I was reading my text. Pass is complete. Outside to number 27, Mojo Harris. And he's going to pick up the first down. Hightower tackles him for the first uh, after he picked up the first down. 
That's probably the best throw that the quarterback has made tonight. Was a good throw. Collinsville early score. Collinsville leads uh, East Central 14 to nothing early second quarter. Memorial first and 10 from the Zebra 42 yard line. Twins to the right, one split to the left, two backs in the backfield. Harrison Jones in the backfield, Cook the quarterback, hands the ball off to Jones, and he's looking for some room, and he's going to – he's a uh, he's strong. big, strong kid. Finally brought down there by uh, Mason Hayes, 26, linebacker Mason Hayes, a junior. Jones picks up seven, brings up second and three for the Chargers. Ball on the Claremore 34-yard line. We got to wrap up better at the point of attack. Yeah, we're we hitting, we're hitting them. We've hit them in yeah. the backfield, and they're they're getting too many second effort yards there. Uh, oh, there's a hold. Scrambling, looking for something. Nice play by Hightower. Hightower, good coverage out there. There's a little outside linebacker. Again, Claremore outside linebackers forced into a lot of coverage situations. And Jace is more looks more like a cornerback than a linebacker, to be honest with you. Runs, yes. But uh, he did a good job there in, in pass coverage. Made a good hit as the ball got there. Bring up third and, well. third and two, 7.23 left to go here in the uh, second quarter. Big down right here. Look for the run. Jones. I started to say the backs may change sides here. <laughs> this looks like it may be a run to the top. Get the ball off to Jones and let him get out there. And right there, there it is. is. And he's going to oh. – he's not going to get there. They're going to call he him is. down right at the 34-yard uh, line. It's going to bring up fourth down in about a yard, yard and a half. Big decision. I expect the offense to stay on the field, though. And fourth – yeah. Seven minutes to go. Big play here. We've had one fourth down that we uh, did not let them get. I might sell out and not cover a single receiver. They're not going to throw the ball, are they here? No, but they may go on two. We just don't need to jump. Up Hands the ball off right to Jones, there. and he's not going to get there. Doesn't look like he got it. Nope, he didn't. Zebra's held he again on again. fourth down. Yes. Who was that? Hightower was there. Uh, Sego was there. Nope, he didn't get there. Zebras stop him on fourth nice down again. Play Great. There. Two good defensive plays by the Claremore this quarter to stop uh, stop Memorial on fourth down and short. And your Zebra offense back on the field with 6.36 to go in the second quarter. Let's get another score here. Kedger are split yeah. right, Skinner left. Let's march down the field and take about five minutes of this, six minutes to go and score. Offense needs to play like we're behind, a little urgency with us, and go score another one. Parsons the tailback, and he takes the, the handoff, and he looks for room, and he finds room. Good block, Kedziar. Yes. Coleman gets outside and finally run out of bound at the Memorial 47-yard line. First down, Coleman picked up about 18 yards there. Nice job, a counter trap there, pulled the backside guard and tackle, kicked out with the guard, and... Swab with the tackle up in the hole. Once Parsons got outside, Kizzer had a nice block on a defensive back and uh, allowed Parsons to pick up another six, seven yards. Kizzer split left, Skinner right. Parsons behind Murdoch. Bryson Brown. Eight in the box. Run the same play to the other side. Get up in the hole. There you go. Coleman is going to nice pick up run. 10. Going to pick up a first down. Oh, they're going to call him down. Bring up second down. I don't. I don't understand how they mark the ball. But anyway, not for me to worry about. Look like McBride on the tackle there, but not before we had a good play and he gained nine. I like second one though. Let's try to throw the ball now. What do you think? Let's let's see if we can get one of those receivers open. Yes, because we are in four down territory. Oh yeah. Kedger right. Skinner left, and no, no help. No safety. Press coverage on uh, Skinner. Uh, on Skinner at the top. At the top. And play action pass, throwing it up Kedger. for Kedzior, and he's going to make this catch. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Well. Right through his hands. Well. He's human. Huh? How yes. about that? Yes, he is. He's playing like a lot of other kids right now. Usually he's been a Superman for a year and a half, and uh, the kid is human. 
Anyway, that's all right. Third and one for the Zebras. Great 545. Route. Oh, yeah. Good pass by Murdoch. Murdoch sneaks the ball well, well past the uh, first down marker, and he's going to pick up about three or four. 538. First and 10 for your Zebras at the Memorial 35 yard line. Nice surge there by the offensive line. We might want to do that every once in a while. Yep. That gained about four or five. Charlie's big, 210-pound quarterback. Is. I mean, he's, uh, he's a big kid up there. I know. Looking at the right guard there, Harley Hewen, he put his man on his back. Hightower, the lone running back behind Murdoch. Quick pitch out to Kedzior on the left side, and he picks, he's going to pick up about uh, 12 yards for a zebra. First down, 5-12 to go. Zebras methodically marching down the field. Nice throw, nice catch, good gain. Well, I guess he didn't get the first down. Well, he appeared to run. Oh, there's a flag over there, Dave. Holding against us, my lands. That's from the spot of the foul, isn't it? Yes. So the ball be placed at about the 40. We'll bring up uh, first and 15 from the 40. Or is it 15 or 10 yard penalty? 10. And that's exactly what they, hey, there they are on one of those lines again. Yes. First and 15 from the 40. 5 12 to go, second quarter. Claremore coaches are not going to be happy, you know, striving to get better, striving to get better. You've got to cut out the penalties. Passes downfield, mm. intended for Kedzior, over his head. Uh, here's a score you're interested in, Coach. Tahlequah Tigers 14, Prior Tigers 0. Very good. Second and 15 for Claremore. 4.57 to go. Penalty, yeah, we've had, some, we've had some penalties tonight that have... Uh, Really, really set us back. You know, we had first and 10 about the 23 or 4 yard line yep, before yep. that holding penalty. Yep. Kedger split right. Pitched out to uh, uh, Kedger, and, you know, I don't, they call it complete or not incomplete. Incomplete, probably the best thing. Oh, yeah. It would have been a four yard loss. That just, we got to be able to complete that. That was a low throw. Man. I know playing golf this morning in the cooler air and kind of damp, damp air, ball didn't travel near as far. Is that your excuse? I guess. What about the know. fact that you're 50-some years old yeah. trying to hit that ball? And stiff. Third and 15 for the Zebras, 4.51 to go. They're up 13 to nothing. Ball on the Memorial 40-yard line. Murdoch back to pass. He finds Kedger across the middle, and he's going to pick up the first down. Yes. Wow. It was about a seven-yard pass, and Kedjior did the rest. He got another eight yards on his own. Just straight downfield. Good job, Charlie. Good job, Dylan. First nice down, Claremore. Nice there, not dancing around and just running right after it. And Lowering your shoulder and getting to it. You bet. Ball on the 24-yard line, 439 left to go first quarter. Zebras first and 10. Skinner split left, Kedjior right. Jace Hightower, the running back behind Murdoch, Bryson Brown. No free safety on the field. They've got nine men in the box. Counter trap up the middle. There's a cut back there. Good job, Jace Hightower. He might score here. He's to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Touchdown. Claremore. No flags on the field. Jace Hightower, same play he scored early. Got outside, used his speed. No problem. Claremore goes up 19 to nothing, 417 to go. Jace scored from the 24-yard line. Nice run. Great run. There's also a cutback lane back to the left side. I know it's kind of hard to see, easier to see up here, but uh, definitely what he did work. Yeah. Goats are in to try the extra point. Kicks down, kick is up, and it is good. And your Claremore Zebras lead 20 to nothing over the Memorial Chargers. 4.17 to go in the second quarter. Big, big first half so far for the Zebras. Just what we needed. Definitely this makes me feel a lot better being up more than two scores. All right. We'll be back. 
for the kickoff after a word from our sponsor. Don't run the risk of losing money and getting a less than favorable deal by trying to buy and sell a home by yourself. Joe Lynn Dotson and Solid Rock Realtors have the education and experience to help you make a solid and responsible financial decision. Give them a call at 918-341-7625. Welcome back to Claremore High School Football, ZTV's production of your Zebras. Claremore jumped out big in the first half. We're up 20 to nothing, 417 to go. Claremore just scored two touchdowns by Jace Hightower runs and a Fumble recovery in the end zone by Jacob Velasquez to Christian Gocher extra points. Is there's our 20 points, and uh, we've kind of shut Memorial down. They uh, they really haven't done anything. Two big fourth and short conversions for our or uh, our defense has uh, held Memorial on Slam two. Slam and cook deep for Memorial. We kicked that oh, over his kicked head. Kicked it over his head. Now we're going to call this offsides. What are they? They don't ever call it offsides. They don't ever call that. You get a good yard very, or two. Very, very rarely. rarely. I mean, on an onside, you'll see them call it, but very right. rarely. They watch it a lot they closer on close. onside, and so it's you don't important. gain advantage. But they don't, you don't call that. He hadn't. Must, he must not have flown his flag tonight. And, now they don't pay these guys by the number of penalties they call, right? How does it work? I hope not. Okay. Well, anyway, Baxter Zebra's up five. We used some of that trickery there. They kept scooting up, scooting up. We said, okay, we'll kick it over your head. That's what we did. They had had first and 10. At the, now we're calling it from the sidelines, and we're not huddled. I'd kind of like to huddle again so we all know what we're doing. Well, Gocher set to kick. Mojo Harris, and he's going to kick it deep. And he kicks it to That's Tony true. Salam, and he, uh, he fell down. He said, I don't want to, I want to go. There's, a, there's a couple flag. of flags. They're Several. coming. They must have saw something that I didn't. There must have been some extracurriculars there at the end. It it's, doesn't appear to be against us. I think we may have come on the field too soon. I don't know. Let's see what it is. I know one thing. That's what we talked to. Our coaches, our coaches are yelling. Okay, they have not personal, personal foul, foul against Claremore. Against us. Dead ball personal foul against that's three yeah. big. We've been penalized about 60, Doesn't 70 yards in yeah. this first half. Three big 15 yard penalties. I could hear Coach Hurt from up here well, yelling. The ball was at the 18. No, excuse me. Maybe the 24. Yeah. I don't think there was any doubt because thirty-nine yard line. They'll probably put it on the forty. No, thirty-nine. <laughs> the uh, uh, two officials from different parts of the field threw their flag. So they saw something, they probably saw something. just a late cheap shot or something. I don't know. I didn't see it. Did you, Dave? Nope. Nope. Anyway, Memorial takes over at their own thirty-nine yard line. First and ten. Four eleven to go. Here in the opening half, your zebras leading twenty to nothing. It's kind of unbelievable that one of us didn't see it. Uh, well, you give us way too much credit. And the ball off to, <laughs> to Jones. Jones. And he, I mean, he might be a relative of mine. Straight up the middle for about three yards, kind of what their M.O. is on first down. His name, first name, I don't know if it's Money or Money. It's spelled M-O-N-I. I wanted to call him Money. Coach wants to call him Money. Money. Kind of like Monty, with, but no T. I, I, I understand. Second and seven, and they hand the ball off to the other running back. That is Mojo Harris. He ran hard. There's, Connor. Only, one, there's only one way to say Mojo in there. I think so. Connor Aaron, one of the tacklers there. Third and two for the Chargers, 3.08 to go, second quarter. This has been a big down for us tonight. We've done well. Harris oh. handed the ball, and we're going to stop him. For a oh, loss. Big loss. That was a Seth Segoe. Segoe. 
Seth Seago, Connor Aaron. Seago made that first Mason hit. Mason Hayes. Yep, Seago made the initial contact, did a good job. Zebras have risen to the occasion on third down tonight. We've won the battle on third down. 2.35 to go. We Juan just need to make sure Rodriguez we get possession of the ball. Juan Rodriguez in to punt. Aaron Connor, or excuse me, Connor Aaron back deep for the Zebras. I do the same thing all the time, and I should know the kid. Now, he kicked the ball over to the right a couple of times. I wonder why Connor is over there. Just maybe staying away from him. Oh, that man. Out of bounds That went early. out of bounds early. That should be up around the 35. Yeah, still maybe a 30-yard punt, Coach. Yeah. They're going to get the work. Zebra's going to get the ball with uh, 2.08 to go at their own 33-yard line. Do you go try to score again or run out the clock and take a 20 nothing lead? Well, I tell you what I – you know what I do right here? Well – I think all of Claremore is anxiously awaiting to hear <laughs> what you would they, do they right here. They put these corners on an island. Yep. Just run a little spot and go, you know, a little four-yard spot and pump go. and turn around and go because if he bites on it, it's a touchdown. All we got to do is complete the pass. And Connor Trapp, what we scored on a while ago. And get the ball out to Hightower. We High didn't Tower. get the end blocked. Hightower is fighting, fighting, fighting. He's going to pick up about four yards. Defensive end kind of jumped inside on the block. All right, we've started something. Now what would you do here, second and six? Well, we don't want to do anything stupid with 140 left to go in the half. We do have uh, one timeout left. Fade right over here to the boundary. Now they're backed off. Murdoch's play action Running fakes the ball. He throws it outside to Skinner, Skinner. and oh, Skinner dropped, dropped the ball. Well, nice our, pass, nice pass running to his left by Murdoch right on the money, and we drop it. Our two headliners have dropped about three or four tonight. Well, Gilmore dropped one, Skinner dropped one, maybe two. Kedjo dropped two. We've dropped five passes that I can think of in, in catchable balls. Brings up third down in seven, minute 25. I think we're going to – they got any timeouts left? They do have two timeouts left. I bet we run it here. Well, no, we're going to throw it. Quick one out here, and the whistles are blowing it dead. Legal procedure, I imagine. We just tried to get the ball. Legal procedure against he, the Zebras. I don't know why he waited so late. We passed it, and we're running with it when he blew his whistle. We threw the ball out to Kedjor to see what he could do. It's going to bring up third down and 12 for the Zebras, a minute 22. That's just get the ball in Kedz's hands and see if his athleticism can pick up the first down. Nothing nothing risky about it. Uh, pretty safe play. Uh, we might want to try to run the same thing again and uh, fake it to him and throw it to a receiver who fakes the stock and goes on down the field. Bryson Brown is like the running Skinner. back in there for blocking and we, we do this they, they do fake it and throw they it down field it. and uh, uh ball way under thrown uh, yeah that was way under thrown stop the clock yep 58 seconds to go we're facing fourth down ryan connor into pump for the zebras mojo harris drops back deep for the chargers and uh, here comes uh here comes money jones you know, I think that was they thought about Jones naming me and money. Harris. Money, yes. They thought about naming me money when I was born. Really? That or Reverend. Reverend or Reverend. End over end. End kick. over end kick. It's going to stay out of his hands. No, don't touch it. Let the clock run. Best thing about that kick is they didn't field it. Yep. The ball is blown dead. Forty-five seconds to go. Your zebras leading twenty to nothing. Forty-five seconds to go. The second quarter. Halftime, you will be able to see the Claremore Marching Band directed by David Mudd and Greg Curran, drum majors Rebecca Brewer and Megan Herring, and they always put on a good show. The dance team will should perform. Uh, they had green faces last week. I don't know what we have tonight. Anyway, it's always a nice show at halftime here, and glad that you all were able to bring you the band's performance. We do have pink out night here going on. All the cheerleaders and the dance team. Ball is complete to Mojo Harris. 
and he's going to be wrapped up and brought down. Inbounds, the clock continues to run. Down by Skinner. And Memorial does call timeout. And Hampton in on the tackle as well. The clock's still running. Who's on that clock over there? I don't know if it's Tom Parrish. I don't know who. Uh Uh-oh, we got a new clock operator. That doesn't sound like Coach Parrish. He's money on the spot usually. He's quick as a cat on that button to stop the clock. They're going to reset that clock. They're probably going to put about seven or eight seconds to go. That's where they – there was 27, 28 seconds when uh, Memorial called timeout. They'll get the the clock fixed, and uh, your Zebras will just have to come up with a couple of plays here. And uh, they're communicating right now. They're saying 30 seconds. Even, 30 even. Okay. Is that like always That's on all, the line? It's like always on the line. I think, <laughs> I think there's a add 30. <laughs> add 30. Anyway. And if it's within one of that long line across the field, they put it on that long right line. Right on that long line. Second and two for the Chargers. Antonio Cook, the quarterback, five wide receivers for the Charger. Cook's back and scrambling. He's going to run the ball. We're getting and held. A, they they're, called yeah, they called deal. the hold. Skinner good runs deal. Cook out of bounds at the uh, 43-yard line, but they're going to bring it back. Velazquez was held there, our defensive end on the offense's left side. Hey, I think we're joined by one of Claremore's best uh, math teachers just walked in. One of the finest math teachers in the state of Oklahoma. I wonder if she'd give us an interview at halftime. Well, I, she's welcome to have my headset, and you all can talk about uh, algebraic formulas. I'd love to hear you discuss it. Hey, I can. You can you? You used to be a math teacher, didn't you? You know Pythagoras? I do. Yeah, he was. Uh, he used to live down the street from me over on Christmas Lane. Well, he was quite a bit older than you. He was. Well, that's what you think. You don't know how old I am. <laughs> Second down and 12. Upcoming for the Chargers, 21 seconds, the ball on their own 30-yard line. Again, the Claremore Band will entertain at halftime. Looks like they've got uh, they've got uh, props tonight and a smoke machine. Maybe not the smoke machine. Second and 12. Cook the ball, throws the ball incomplete. That kid really didn't want to catch it, did he? Well, it was pretty short. He'd have to leave his feet and be flat on the ground to catch it, I think. 18.2 seconds left to go. Third down. Brings up third down. Hey, what do you, you know what? If you, you know, Claremore. After this play, if they don't throw it or don't complete it. You call timeout, I think. Call timeout, and what do you got to lose? You go block the punt. Coach might be getting cold, might want to go warm up. Your Zebras lead 20 to nothing all over Chargers. 18 seconds to go, second quarter. Lovely night. I'd like to see Skinner bail out here since there's only 18 seconds left. Well, they just Quick run. pass and incomplete intended for Davion Caudell. That was right in his hands. He got some of what Claremore's got. Maybe My it's a tough night to catch field. a ball. 14 seconds to go. You know, we're going to get the ball in decent field position. I would definitely uh, try to have now, Connor Aaron catch, catch the ball. The ball. The don't air. let it, yeah, don't let it hit the ground because it could, it'll. This is where I like two men deep because that way you can kind of ensure right. that. Um, Juan Rodriguez gets the ball off. Connor, get just knock it out of bounds, Connor. Right there. And it's going to roll dead. Dead with four seconds left. 2.5 seconds to go. If I know Coach Hurd, he's going to take a knee. What do you think? He will take a knee. That's one reason why I kind of like uh, two men deep. Yep, makes sense. You can ensure the ball being caught a little bit. You should have been a football coach. Well, I did for a little while. Now I just reserve that for Saturday, Saturdays in the fall. I coach for my love seat. And the Zebras, Charlie Murdoch, will take a knee. And your Claremore Zebras will go into halftime here 
up 20 to nothing in this big 5A4 district battle. Great first half for the Zebras. Two touchdowns by Jace Hightower. Uh, Jacob Velasquez falls on a fumble in the end zone. And uh, Claremore's up 20 to nothing. Memorial really doesn't appear to want to uh, play that hard. So we will be back. Let the Claremore band entertain. We'll be back uh, for all the action in the third quarter. Enjoy the halftime show.
Wheel up on East Central Twenty Eight.
This is for the uh, veterans. It is veterans. This is uh, the army song.
somebody told me he's a really good guy. And apparently...
Welcome back to Claremore High School football. To start the third quarter here in Claremore, your Zebras leading the Tulsa Memorial Chargers 20 to nothing. Claremore will be returning, will receive the third quarter kick. Let's go score, Coach, and uh, put this thing away. What do you think? If we could just uh, maybe put together a pretty good long drive here, we could get their dauber down maybe here in the second half early. Hey, before we get started talking football, that was a great performance by the Claremore Band and Dance Team. That was a yes, wonderful. Yes, very good job. Uh, again, David Mudd and Greg Curran do a great job directing those kids, and and uh, Becky Brewer and Megan Herring, drum majors, do a do a great job, and we really appreciate all the hard work. I drive by here every morning, and I see them out here working hard on the field, working on that thing. And, and they, Regardless of the weather, they're here. They're here usually, working hard, yeah. just as hard as these kids are football. Put in a lot of time and effort. They do. They do a great job. Jacob Gilmore back deep for the Zebras. Uh, and uh, Juan Rodriguez will do the kicking for the Chargers, and we're ready for football. This is the first time we've seen him kick off. And it's the short onside, and there's flags again. They called offsides on them. Dead ball offsides. Wow. Well, that was, this uh, linesman here, he may like to be able to give the, uh, you know, use the mechanics and show the crowd. It looks like he's got a hitch in his back when he was bent over to pick up his flag. He was holding his back pretty mm -hmm. bad. Look at him, still holding himself. Walking a little gimpy. He's like the whole Memorial team. Anyway, we'll try it again. We know Zebras know what to expect. We've got Michael McMorris in that position to field that short onside. Rodriguez will tee it up from his own 35. Gilmore standing at about the 20. Connor Aaron and Blake Hargrove also back deep. In the middle short, Parker House. Thomas Mason. Look for Michael McMorris down here, number 11, to receive this kick. That appeared to look on purpose, Dave. Rodriguez, he kicks it a little deeper, and it's going to go to, to Hargrove at the 25. He gets to the 30. He's at the 35. Hargrove is at the 40 and 45, and his uh, flags are flying. Hargrove gets out to the 45, but we probably had a block in the back. Same uh, official who caught off sides. It's two plays. He's... Uh, Thone He's two thrown, flags. Thrown, thrown two flags. That one was about 30-yard throw with his It was flag. a good throw. We got, He's, uh, got it. He's got it weighted pretty nicely. Holding. Holding on the Zebras call is indicated. The Zebras will take over first and 10. Just a question of where. Looks about from their 35-yard. They called the hold at the 45. They're going to mark it on one of those long lines, Coach. What do you think the ball is going to end up? Looky there. On the 35. Huh? How about that? Well, we've had two plays and two penalties. Skinner split left. Kids are right. Jace Hightower, the running back to start the second half. Brown, the up back. Pitch, quick pitch, out to Hightower on the right side, and he's looking for room, and he's, uh, he's got room. He's got room. He's going to pick up 10, nice maybe job. 11 yards. Good job, Jace. First down, Zebras. Nice job by the lineman there. Again, uh, Harley Hewan and uh, Alexander Irwin and uh, uh, 52, Darius Blevins. Yep. Uh, they stayed engaged a long time. Jace strung that thing out, and the linemen stayed engaged with their uh, defenders for a long time. And Jace picked up 11, first play for the Zebras, picks up 11 yards in the first down. We hand the ball off to Hightower again. Counter trap, and he doesn't get anywhere. Uh, brought down there by... Uh, Backside. Yep, yeah, number 60 for the Chargers. That is uh, Connor Winfield. It'll bring up second down and 11. Jace lost one. Wofford checks in for Nash Blackwell. What do you think about that name, Nash Blackwell? Does that sound like a uh, movie star? Yes, it Nash does. Nash Blackwell. Could be a private detective, yes. right? That's I was thinking the same exact thing. Or one of those, remember the Looks books? Looks like uh, we're all sides here on the outside. Fakes a handoff. Oh, we've got a man wide open, Matt Wofford, and he catches the ball at the 30, and he rumbles down. He's at the 15 and knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Matt Wofford with a fine catch. 
Nice throw. Murdoch hit him in stride. Wofford caught the ball, and he rumbled down to the 10. Great, great pass. Good job, Charlie. Good job, Matt. Nice job of Murdoch kind of faking the pass and the defensive he, end a bit. On the, he tried did. to block it, and he ran on by him. Really did. Good job. He'll throw it deep. He'll bring up first and goal for the Zebras from the 10-yard line. Hightower, the lone running back. And the handoff is to Hightower along the right side, and he's going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Just tough to, tough to run, Dave, when you got nine in the box. 10-45 here in the third quarter. Your Zebra's leading 20 to nothing over the Chargers. A great evening. Now, I did step outside of this press box. I don't know. The wind is blowing pretty good out there. It's coming straight, okay, in, it is straight from the north. Now. Yeah, straight from the north. It blew before the game, and then during the game, the, the flag was dead, and now it's blowing again. Hand the ball off to Hightower. This time looking to get outside on the left side, and he's going to score. Jace Hightower, third touchdown of the night for Jace. 11-yard touchdown run. Second time he scored in that end zone, same play. He scored outside on the other end zone in the second quarter. Claremore Zebras going up 26 to nothing. Behind Jace Hightower's three touchdowns tonight, Goachers come in to try for the extra point. That's kind of where they've been susceptible. We uh, start the, the handoff up the middle, and we bounce That's it good. outside. Goachers kick is uh, good. A lot less effort by Memorial on that extra. Did you see how they didn't hardly kind of block that? They just kind of stood still. Mm -hmm. We might got them right where we want them, Coach. <laughs> might have them right where we want them, but uh, – my English teacher probably doesn't agree with I know, everything I say. they're all walking off the field over there, so that's a good sign. Zebras have a little spring to their step. Zebra fans slowly making their way back into the stands. They, uh, a lot of them congregate down the Zebra room where the quarterback club has uh, halftime goodies, always a pregame meal. Next home game, there will be the Rotary Chili Supper. At the it's high school cafeteria, good. always a big fundraiser for Claremore Rotary Club um, for scholarships. It's great chili. Always the last home game of the Claremore's uh, regular season at the high school cafeteria. Don't forget that. That will be uh, November 2nd, senior night, when we host the Tahlequah Tigers. Last score we had Tahlequah. They're up 14-7 to over Pryor. Is that what you saw? Yes, at a halftime. At halftime. Goats are set to kick off for the Zebras. 10-15 to go third quarter. Short kick. Fielded and Drop immediately down. downed there. Fielded by number 11, C.J. Lovett. They will take over on their own 37-yard line, trailing 27 to nothing. Brody Freeman was going in, coming off. There goes Bryson Brown. He's been playing some defensive end tonight. Yep, doing a good job. Little brother, Brindley Brown. Brindley stayed in Norman this weekend, I understand, maybe watching the game on, uh, on the computer. Big shout-out to Brindley. He's going to bounce it wide. Jones is. Jones gets outside, and he's going to pick up about three. He'll get to the 40-yard line, brought down there. By Dylan Pretty, nice and low. Mason, finished by Mason Hayes. Big shout-out to Janan Choate, too, that we hear is out there watching. Janan uh, Choate, we've prayed for her often just by knowing her son. There's enough to pray for right there, just knowing her son. Yes. Hands the ball off to Mojo Harris, and he's met by Mr. Tristan Hampton. He said, no, sir, and he's going to lose. Now, how do you give him forward progress? Uh, That's a good I, question. I, that was Looked like to me. It's at him the 35-yard line, and they're marking it up at the 37. I just, oh, there's a flag down. Somebody Maddie. said something or did something. Yeah. Memorial's point to us. I don't know why we would say or do anything. We're ahead. 
And here we come with an explanation. And we're going to wave, wave it, it off. off. But they marked the ball at the 38-yard line. Loss of about three. Bring up third down and ten for the Chargers. Two receivers split right for the Chargers. Jones in the backfield. One split left. Behind Cook. They do have uh, a slot receiver on this side, trips to this side. 27 running Quarterbacks out looking, looking for trying to get away from Bryson Brown, and he's run out of bounds there by uh, Mason Hayes, runs him out of bounds for a loss of about four or five. Bring up fourth down for the Chargers. Good job, Zebra defense. So, First possession for Claremore offense, second half, we score a touchdown. First possession for our defense, and uh, we shut them down. So, uh, great start to the second half. Claremore leads 27 to nothing right now. And, nice uh, pressure there by uh, Brown to yeah, make bro him uh, not ever get set to throw anything to a receiver. Juan Juan Riguez back deep to punt. Connor Aaron set to return. Receive the ball right. off the side of his foot. Not a good punt. Stay away from it, everybody. All right, and we pick, he could pick it up. Nope, they're going to down it there. Claymore's going to take over at the Memorial 45-yard line. That was about a 14-yard uh, punt. So 8.48 to go in the third period. Claremore leading 27 to nothing, and they're going to take over here. The big play last to drive was the uh, the pass to uh, Wofford. Uh, Murdoch hit him, uh, gained about 35 yards, Wofford did on that play. Great then, field position here. And then Hightower ran it in. Hightower in the backfield. I don't know if Parsons is – we haven't seen Parsons. Oh, Kedjor's wide open, and uh, he dropped the ball. Huh. Good fake by Murdoch on the counter trap and running the boot. Nobody within 20 yards of Kedzer. And it was a little out in front of him. Probably should have made the catch. You know what? If you're going to have a bad game, let's have it when you're up 27 to nothing. That's exactly right. And I'm not saying he's having a bad game. I don't know. Um, just a couple of those. He normally catches. Dylan is a pretty sure-handed. Usually, if you get it in the zip code, he catches. A little concerned. To the top. Little. We got the end seal. He cuts High it back. cuts back, and uh, he's going to pick up a block. Oh, he's going to outrun everybody. Wait on your block. Oh, he did. Uh, he gets uh, brought down. Wow, Jace Hightower, Good great run. Good run right there. Nice He's done cut. it all night. Reversed his field. Little, uh, don't see, do you see Parsons on the sideline? Usually he's out, uh, at least one of the top first two uh, series. Don't see Coleman. Splits time typically with Jace. I, uh, looking for Coleman. Don't see him anywhere. See our medical staff is here. I don't see them treating him. Anyway, a little fade pass to uh, Skinner, and he catches it for the touchdown. Nice catch there. Good throw, good catch. Goes up high, catches the ball, brings it down. Touchdown, Claremore. They go up 33 to nothing. Good little uh, fade pass. Quentin Skinner, 6'4". And uh, he out-jumped the kid. You got to take advantage of 6'4". Gocher on the field to try for the extra point. He can't. Gocher came running off from the goal line. I don't know what he was doing down there. Anyway, yeah, was he, he on the field? Get to T or something. Anyway, Gocher's kick is good. Claremore leads 34 to nothing. 8:22 to go in the uh, in the um, quarter. Third quarter. At this time, we're going to hear from one of our fine sponsors. RCB Bank is a community bank. They are ready to meet the financial needs of our communities, its businesses, and its customers. At the same time, RCB Bank is a responsible citizen and a business within the communities they serve. Visit any of the four RCB Bank locations in Claremore.
Welcome back to Claremore High School football where you're witnessing a uh, quite a performance from your Zebras leading Memorial Chargers 34 to nothing. 8.22 to go here in the third quarter. Claremore's had their way with the Chargers tonight here at Lanto Field. On uh, Veterans Night, uh, we got to uh, uh, celebrate and uh, acknowledge all our veterans at halftime. Our band uh, played this different service academy songs, and our veterans stood up when they heard their branch being played. Very nice uh, tribute to our veterans, and we thank them for their service and uh, appreciate everything they've done for us. Goetcher set to kick, and he kicks it uh, about to about the 15-yard line. It's caught there by uh, Mojo Harris, and he is brought down at the 27-yard line. Thomas Mason was there. I don't know. Uh, Mason Hayes was there. I don't know exactly who made the tackle. Thomas uh, looks Mason, a little woozy. Yeah, it looks a little uh, He looks a little boo woozy. He's, uh, he says, says he's, he's fine. Okay. Woozy woozy. Hands on his knees, looking down. I'm sure Mama's worried right now. Now he's fine, Mom. Memorial takes over at their 28-yard line. They hand the ball off to Jones, and he uh, busts one up the middle, and he's looking for room, runs into nice the umpire. Nice by the umpire. He brings him down. <laughs> he gets out, uh, picks up about 12 yards. Um, him and Pretty brought, brought him down, the umpire and Pretty. Bound keys. Uh, Pretty made the tackle, not but not after a 12-yard gain. Bring up first down and 10 for the Chargers at their own 40-yard line. Eight minutes to go, third quarter. They got a double slot over here on the right side, and they ran back to the left side. They hand Same the ball off to again. Jones again, and he picks up another 11 yards, brought down there by Connor, Aaron, and Kedger. What's the What would be the flag here? Uh, as he's being tackled, it goes down. I don't know if it's a hold or a face mask. I didn't think. I, Connor had yeah, hold of him. Like Kedger came over clean. the top. It looked clean to me. Jones is pointing to, towards us. Face mask. Five-yard face mask, in, incidental. I guess Connor had hold of it a little bit. Mason did find his way off the field. I guess he was uh, a little bit woozy. Looked like just a five-yard face mask. Wofford checks in for Thomas. Velasquez and Wofford in at the defensive end positions. Same formation as the last two previous plays. You know, Parsons isn't out there on defense. I'd say Coleman tweaked something. Uh, hands the ball off to Jones, and he's met there by, by uh, Doug, Doug Littrell. Littrell. Yep. Yes, nice defensive play by Doug. But not after Jones picks up uh, about three yards, bring up second down and seven for the Chargers. 7.20 to go, third quarter. Dave, best thing we can do right now is just keep that clock moving. Yep, hope nobody gets hurt and uh, try to figure out a way to uh, – uh, solve Skytook's uh, offensive juggernaut, little uh, Shea Garner, very talented athlete. Hand the ball off to Mojo Harris, and he is brought down after a pickup about 15 yards. Nice tackle there by Larry Ree. Just got down low and took his feet out. Seagull and Hewen checking in at defensive line. Memorial has a little momentum here. They're at the Claremore 26-yard line, 6.42 to go, third quarter. We hand the ball off to Jones, and he's brought down the backfield by Seth Sego. Runs him down. First play for Seth just to check in a while ago was fresh. You can see uh, a positive there, a keeping fresh defensive lineman. Nice play by Sego. Memorial loses five, bring up second down and 15. Ball at the Claremore 32-yard line. 6.18 left to go, third quarter. Slot on each side. Jones the running back behind. Jones flares out to the left. He's wide Cook, open. Cook gets him the ball out there. He catches the ball, and he's going to run for about 15 yards. I uh, did notice... Uh, he had an option of taking on a Claremore defender, stepping out of bounds, and he stepped out of bounds. Mm -hmm. But not after uh, 
but not before. He gained 15 yards and a first down. We'll bring up first and 10 for the Chargers at the Claremore 15-yard line. Dylan Kedzer was there, said, do you want to party? And um, Jones stepped out of bounds. I think Dylan would have taken him on. Left side dive. Hand off to Jones, and he's met, and he picks up maybe a yard. Bring up second and nine for the Chargers. 5.43 left to go. Nice Third play quarter. by Hewan and uh, Hampton there. I don't believe he – and Sego was there as well. I don't see – he may have gained a yard, and that's about it, Dave. Well, bring up second and nine. And the ball to Jones. Mojo. Oh, that was uh, Mojo Harrison. He was brought down by Bone Hampton. I tell you, Mojo was mowed down there. That's right. Tristan uh, made nice Tristan play. made a nice stop on him right he there. He filled well from the middle linebacker's position. Really glad Tristan uh, came, decided to play football this year. Yes. Looks like he got a little stinger holding his hand a little bit. Dad's looking on, doesn't seem to be too worried. Dr. Hardage, Eoc walks over, says, you okay? He said, yes, sir. He'll be back out there. Jones picks up about uh, three yards. Going to bring up um, fourth flag. down here. Flags are flying everywhere. Tackle there by Brody Freeman, number 35. What did we do this time? Well, 13 and 1, Kiston made up. Uh, that's just something that we got we got wow. to uh, eliminate. You know, if we're going to start playing better teams. We've uh, had too many big 15 yard well, penalties that have just, I mean, they're just, and they're, and they're stupid. Drive. Yeah, well, they're stupid. Pit. They're these. Uh, just, they don't mean uh, anything. No. No, well, right you know, there we had them, what, third and long? Well, it was fourth down. It was going to be fourth down, and eight yeah. and, yeah. and uh, first down for the Chargers. We had first and we goal from them. the four-yard line. Had them where we wanted to, and we did something that we didn't have to do. Dead ball, personal foul. You don't – I mean, the play's over. That's just something good teams don't do. That's got to get corrected. Jones in the backfield. Fakes, Fakes the handoff. The Cook's looking for an he's open receiver. Left. Doesn't yeah, have anything. He's, he's scrambling. Best. He fumbles, he fumbles the ball, the ball. and uh, he falls on it back at the 16-yard line. We're best when uh, when they try to throw it. Yes. Pretty back there with the pressure. 17 from about the what was it? Well, they were on the four. They lost 13 right 13 there. 13 yards. That's the best thing for the Zebra defense. Did you notice how quickly I came up with that? Mm -hmm. 17 minus four, 13? Yes, you That are. was Mr. Pythagoras. He lived up there. Leo Pythagoras, I think. He lived up the street. <laughs> there he goes. Pretty good cut. Brought down there by, uh, by Tristan Hampton. Tristan. Somebody had him low, and Tristan came along. And, and uh, <laughs> Mason Hayes also. Okay. Good job, Mason. Mr. Jones is feeling the full brunt of the – he's getting beat up tonight. He's not going to be – he's not going to want to get out of bed tomorrow morning, I don't think. We've gotten a few good licks on we him We have. Tonight. He runs hard and he keeps sticking it up yeah. in there. But 2.48 left to go, third quarter. Third and goal from the 16-yard line for the Chargers. Uh, the screen is wide open to Jones. Kedzior has a chance to bring him down. Kedzior brought him down. Bring up fourth down. And go. Fourth and goal from the three, four-yard line. Definitely the perfect play called on yep. our defense because we brought the house. We did, and uh, but they didn't get the good news is it's fourth down. They didn't get in. Right. Big down right here. Twice earlier tonight, we've stopped him on fourth and short. Mm-hmm. They're going to give it to him going left. Well, they messed they up in the backfield, and, and uh, we have a chance. They, they stopped bumped him. Yeah, we stopped him again. Good job. 
The running back ran into the quarterback from the get-go. That wasn't a smooth play for the Chargers. Looks like Sego uh, stripped the ball because they're marking it where he came out of the huddle. All right. At the five, not where he's lying down at the two. I think Jones might still be down. Memorial players are walking off with their helmets off. Is that Jones that's down? I'll tell you what, we'll take over on downs. We have a injured player at this time. Uh, we will return in just a moment after a word from one of our fine sponsors. Pixley Lumber Company stocks over 35,000 products for the professional contractor and the serious do-it-yourselfer. From forest products to floor covering, from gypsum and insulation products to tools and hardware, and from roofing and siding to millwork and doors. Pixley Lumber Company invites you to experience the quality, the service, and the expertise that others have known since 1963. Visit Pixley Lumber at 715 West Will Rogers Boulevard. Welcome back. Claremore High School football, minute 55 to go, third quarter. Your Zebras leading the Memorial Chargers 34 to nothing. Thought this game was going to be close tonight, really did. It was concerned. Uh, this is a huge game for the Zebras, and, and the playoff implications are huge here. We needed to get ahead of these guys, and, and I think things are well in hand. And uh, the Zebras are going to take over first and 10 from their own five-yard line after a big fourth down stand by your Zebra defense. Nice drive there by Memorial, aided by a couple of penalties. Um, to come away with no points. Right. We uh, we Definitely had them. got their dauber down. Yeah, they're uh, they're a little confused out there. Hightower, the running back behind Murdoch. I would say we haven't seen Parsons on defense or offense. I'd say Coleman's dinged up a little bit. Hopefully he'll be healthy next week. We're going to hand the ball off right here to Jace Hightower, and he's going to get Nine outside. Track. He's got some room. He's got he some room, home. and uh, he picks up a first down. He's out across the 20-yard line. Nice Dylan, run. Dylan Kedzor, he's done a great job blocking tonight. Not a great job catching the ball, but a great job blocking tonight, and sometimes that's that's all you got to do. Good job, Dylan Kedzor. Good job, Jace Hightower. The, gets us out of the yeah. – Shadow of the end zone there. Jace picked up a 16. Jace has had a he's had a bunch of these chunk yards. He's had a yeah. couple of uh, he's well over 100 yards way. tonight. Now I bet we run the same thing to the top. Yes, same play counter trap to the top. Jace bounces, bounces outside. He's got room. Again. He's to the 30, 35, and he's run out of bounds. Oh, and brought down late. Yeah, they went down, got his knees uh, late. We got a we got a Memorial Charger down at about yes. the 25 yard line. Antonio Cook. Appears These to are be quarterback. Injured. I think it was number four. It is four. Oh, oh that's Tony Salam. Salam. Zebras are uh, strutting around. Memorial, not so much. Minute 23 to go. Total domination by your zebras. Salam is up. Here we go. Claremore is going to find themselves first at 10 from their own 37-yard line. Zebras take the field. It's now it's just a matter of getting out of here without anybody getting hurt, Coach. That's exactly right. You just want the clock to run. Minute four. I believe we got another tailback in the game. Yep, that's probably Parker House. And uh, welcome to the welcome to the oh, game, well, Mr. Was, House. He, he ran got, into a wall. He got rocked at the line of scrimmage. Marquellen Ware, I believe, yes. uh, uh, said, uh, "Welcome to the game, Parker." <laughs> oh my goodness! He didn't get up and go back to the huddle. Well, that may be the hardest hit we've seen tonight. I say that's him. Is this? Uh, 
I can't see who that number is. It looked like 28 to me. And it is him, and he takes the pitch around the left side, and he gets nice out across cut. the 40. Yes. He's going to pick up five yards there. And that is Parker House, a junior, 5'10", 170-pounder. Tackle there by Sammy Algia. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Your Zebras leading 34 to nothing. We'll be back for all the fourth quarter action after a word from our sponsors. Your custom homes. It takes the perfect piece of property to become a beautiful neighborhood. And Highfield Properties has the tools and experience to make it happen. To find out more, call 918-381-1637. Welcome back to Claremore High School football for fourth quarter action between your Zebras and the Memorial Chargers. Claremore leading 34 to nothing. Find themselves third down and six from their own 41-yard line. Murdoch takes the snap, looking left, and he's going to be sacked, brought down by number 42 from Memorial. That's semi algae He's made two plays in a row. To bring up fourth down, it's a Ryan Connor time for Claremore. We were talking about Coleman Parsons, and we he is down on the sideline in uh, street clothes at this point. And uh, we hope, hope it, it's a precautionary. We're up twenty to nothing at half, and I never saw him go down on the field. He's the type of kid though that could get up. He would get up and come to the sidelines. Yep. Claremore gets their personnel out on the field. Gets a snap away. Connor gets a nice, Spiral. turned it over, got it turned over, and it's uh, going to be down at about the 39-yard uh, line. There's no way they're going to put that at the 40, are they? I believe there's a shoe on the field over here about the 30. Oh, there he goes. Thomas, Thomas Mason. Mason lost his shoe. Lost his shoe. Is he, can he just slip it in there? They don't even tie him anymore, do they? Well, I don't believe he has to anymore. You know, that's kind of a talent there to be able to do that. Hey, look where that ball ended up, Coach. Right, right on, on the 40-yard line. <laughs> Point of emphasis. <laughs> start, on a, start on a long line. Uh, Memorial takes over, first and 10 from their own 40. Folks, we get a horse down, we're going to beat it to death. In other words, we're not going to stop talking about something if yes. we can actually – See it. Hands the ball off to Jones, Jones over the right side. And he's, he's at the 50, lane. and he'd look for somebody to punish, and he tried to put his shoulder down and run over Claremore's. Uh, uh, that was uh, Kaysen Hartloff. Welcome to the game, Kaysen. Yeah. He just checked into the game, and uh, Mr. Jones took out some aggressions on him. He was the last man between him and the uh, goal line. He did a good job. He got him down. Yes. I promise I won't talk about the lines anymore. No, you're good. You're good. I don't know. Like I won't talk about the middle of the field middle being Middle of the field being dark. Hand the ball off to Jones, and he's met by a host of Claremore defenders. Yes, several. Hopefully we can get up off the pile without a flag being thrown. Brought down there by, uh, I don't know who all, a lot of red jerseys yes, down four there. four or five of them. We got several subs in. Brody Freeman, a senior. And it was pink out night again here at Claremore. Cancer awareness. Wyatt Jones at a defensive lineman. Hands the ball off to Jones. Money Jones, nice and he's uh, brought Hartloff. down after a pickup of uh, about six. They're coming up the stands, one of the newest members to Claremore Athletic Hall of Fame, Mr. Doug Mosier. No, that was number 38 there, Valen Williams. 
You were at the, you were at the Hall of Fame the other night. It was a nice event. Claremore's inaugural class. It's good to see a lot of those people being inducted. It was a nice evening. If you didn't attend, you missed a great evening. And uh, Man, I had a great time. It Enjoyed was a it. lot of fun. Saw a lot of uh, tremendous athletes and contributors to the Claremore Athletic Program. And uh, our athletic department did a good job of putting that. Our administrators and then athletic director did a good job of putting that on. Jones, Jones rumbling for the first no, down. No, he's going to pick up a first down. 9.07 left to go here in the um, fourth quarter. What's important is you want to win by at least these district games by at least 15 points. Yes. That's the magic number. Do you get credit for uh, in tiebreakers? Uh, if you win by 100 or win by 15, you get uh, the same amount of tiebreaker points. And so Claremore needs to finish this game winning by 15 or more points, and they should. Cook's back looking for receiver, and he overthrows. They're going to call interference on somebody, but I don't think yeah, it was interference. Kind of incidental contact. Well, but they're going to call it on Ree out there, but I, it, you know, I don't know what else he could have done. Well, they're, Dave, not to change the subject, but the Hall of Fame banquet, what I enjoyed the most was listening to the recipients, how humbled they were. You know, great athletes, great coaches that have coached or played here in one sport or another just by how humbled they were. And some of the stories were just hilarious. They were. They were really yes. good. And, and Enjoyable. Uh, I do think that everybody who uh, was honored was truly uh, appreciative of the honor. And, and, uh, and again, we had ten members uh, go into the inaugural class of the Claremore Athletic Hall of Fame, and I know we're going to try to do it uh, annually and probably not 10 every year, but um, it was a great evening and uh, a lot of good stories. Saw some people I played with. You played against some of those people. Mm -hmm. Steve Gage, Kenny Kennard, John Smith. You know, they talked to two or three people talked about maybe Kenny and Kennard being one of the best athletes uh, they ever saw. From I Claremore mean, High School, and to see him uh, receive it and get emotional. Right. You know, um, Ethan Shires there, nice, <laughs> a great hit from his corner position there. You know, I found it interesting. Steve Gage was talking about Kenny, and, you know, Steve was a great player in college and went on a Super Bowl champion with the Washington Redskins. He said the same thing. Kenny Kennard, you're the best athlete I ever played with, and he played with Super Bowl champions on that Washington Redskins team. Yes. That was quite a statement. Memorial has second and six. They hand the ball off to Jones. They they're wearing this kid out, aren't they? Mm-hmm. But uh, he's 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 their team, and they're going to hand it off. It's going to be up third and five, seven fifty to go here in the fourth quarter. Your zebras leading thirty-four to nothing. Looks like Mason and Hayes getting off the. Uh... Now Mason Hayes is a no, player. No. So it's Mason Thomas Mason and Thomas Mason, Mason and yeah, Mason, I said Mason Hayes. Mason and Hayes okay. made the tackle. Both of them got up off the pile. Man, you're good. Yes. 10% of the time. Hand the ball off to Mojo Harris, and he's looking for the goal line, and he gets in. Touchdown Memorial, no flags on the field. Mojo Harris with the touchdown. I am not a big surprise. Drove it down. They're not a they're not a horrible team. I don't know if we're 34 points better than they are, but we've had we've been tonight. So uh, anyway, Memorial scores make the score 34 to six with 7:19 to go. They're going to go, go for two. Here. Direct snap to Jones and he is uh, rumbling and he uh, he gets penalty in for flag the flag on the play. There from is the a penalty for, Okay. I know initial call is touchdown or extra point conversion was good for two points. I know Mason was the first one to make contact. We hit him in the backfield, had a chance, and he kept grinding and grinding, and uh, and he was in. And the penalty is going to be thrown by the umpire. Should be a hold, right? Well, Face mask hold. or a hold? Uh, I can't tell who he's talking to. No signal yet. Looked like they might be talking to. If it was declined, it would be over right now, I think. Yes. Oh, no, Memorial's signaling. We've definitely been on the short end. 
Uh, I can't tell. Oh, they're backing them up. So it must have been. It had to be on them. Let's see what they're going to call. Holding, Holding. against the offense. It'll okay, so they put it at on the line at the 10. So the, the hold so had to happen. At the goal line. <laughs> at the goal, it had to happen at the goal line. I didn't say it. You said it that time. So the two-point try. No, Juan Rodriguez is back in. Is now in the game to try the extra point. And we jump. we jump off sides? We jumped off sides. Well, now we're back at the five-yard line. No, I think they, oh, they move. move. Uh-oh. We're backing Mr. Uh, Rodriguez up. He's saying, whoa, boys. This will be the same as a 32-yard field goal, this extra point. Juan Rodriguez. They're making it, they're making it harder on Juan for him to kick one. Kick one. Oh, that's pretty. I get it. I get it. The kick is up, and it is uh, good. <laughs> Just over the uh, right. crossbar. The crossbar. It may have touched it. Well, it counts one, doesn't it? Or two? Yeah, it counts one. It counts one. So with seven nineteen to go here in the fourth quarter, your Claremore Zebras still lead thirty-four to seven over the Chargers, and we'll be back in just a moment after we hear from one of our fine sponsors. The professionals at Eye Care of Claremore are among the finest in the area. Dr. Eric Kuykendall, Dr. Lauren Sisper, and Dr. Cale Fulps will all make you feel at ease as they get you on track to the best optical health you can achieve. Call 918- 341-2020 to make an appointment and visit iCareofClaremore.com today. Any HIPAA rules. What's wrong with him? <laughs> to Claremore football. Seven Seamers are up 34 to 7. 719 to go here in the fourth quarter. Folks, we're trying to keep our focus up here, but when the game's decided, it is hard for us to keep our focus. Uh, onside, onside a tip, kick. pretty good kick. Yes. It looks like Claremore's do recover. You know, I'm not so sure. I think the kicker knew it was an onside, but I don't, I don't know. Think the, the other guys <laughs> did. <laughs> I don't think the rest of the Memorial then thought that that was because it was a darn good onside pretty kick. Pretty good job by Juan. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely get uh, – you. They, they could have gotten, definitely got yeah, one. Yeah, they right could have there. got there as the ball passed the 50 and recovered it because it was a slow roller. It was a slow one. <laughs> anyway, the Zebras take over first down from their 49-yard line. Murdoch still at quarterback. Parker House, the running back behind him. They got 10 in the box. Hands the ball off to Bryson Brown, and he rumbles for about a two-yard loss. Now, if that had been big brother ben Brindley, I think he would have scored. Boy, I don't know. That kid was there. Brindley could have he made him look like a He was there in the backfield. Like Connor Winfield. Brindley would have laughed at him when he went by and said, not, not tonight. I'm going to score a touchdown. Loss of two on the play brings up second down and 12. 6.48 to go. Ree split left. Luke Williams split right. Parker House, the running back. Murdoch hands the ball off to House. And he uh, looking for something around the left side. And he doesn't get anywhere. Loses another yard. Some of the uh, second unit on the offensive line is in the game now for Claire Moore. No excuses. They're good players, but uh, sometimes they don't get a lot of reps and things just don't gel real well. Well, uh, right now Memorial's had nine or ten in the box and bringing everybody at the snap. And we're not going to throw it. We're going to uh, – We need to run the sweep, just get outside on them. Third down and 12, 5.55 left to go here in the game. We got twins right. Uh, Murdoch Luke. fakes it, looking for an open receiver, and he finds oh. uh, uh, 
19. Yeah, he locked, he locked in on him. Zach Zayden. And, uh, Zayden or Zayden, I don't know. Yes, sir. Tomato, tomato. We had another receiver here. 26 was wide open. Mason Hayes didn't have anybody within three or four, you know, two or three yards of him. Ryan Connor back to punt for the Zebras. Mojo Harris back deep for the Chargers. Connor gets it away, and Harris will have a chance to return this. He fields the ball at the 20. He's looking for room, and he's going backwards, and he's not going to get anywhere. House is there along with Ethan Shires to bring him down at the 12-yard line. Nice the, job by the Zebras, just one after another. Chargers will take over first and 10 from their own 12-yard line. 5.32 left to go. Sego hustling down. He may have been long snapper there. Seven minutes left. Bishop Kelly leading Glenpool 38 to nothing. Union big winner over Moore. Muskogee. That was a close game at halftime, 10 to 7. At 55-12, it ends up Union over Moore. Booker T, I have Booker T, 7-3 over Sepulpa. Hmm. Uh, hands the ball off. This is a new running back for the Chargers. Or was that Jones? That's, That's Jones, Jones again. You know, Memorial. Michael McMorris coming off. Looked like he's got a stinger. Reeves coming out. Number 68 checks in for the Zebras. That's big Justin Carter. A senior in the game. Also in Kevin Geringer. Brooks Sherrill. Tyler Freeman at an end. A lot, pointing, a lot of finger pointing. A lot of finger pointing. Jones is in the game, and Wyatt Jones is in there, and he pointed right at somebody, and the official said, yes, sir, you're right, Wyatt. Illegal procedure against the Chargers. 452 left. Claremore leads 34 to 7. Is that number 58 or 68 out there, too? 68. Justin Carter? Yes, Justin's in the game. Long-time contributor to the program here. Glad to see them getting in the game. Hands the ball off to Jones, and he's going to be brought down after a pickup of about three. Bring up third down and six for the Chargers. Is that pretty? Pretty no, 24. Mason Hayes. Mason Hayes. Hayes. Is nice that Mason or Hayes? That's Mason Hayes. Singular. Gotcha. Jones could break one against this group. Four minutes left to go in the game. Third and seven for the Chargers. Somebody needs to cover this kid out here. Hand the ball off to Jones, and he is uh, hes going to pick up about three. He's going to bring it up fourth down and two and a half. From their own 20-yard 20 20 line. 20-yard line. What do you do here, Coach? Well, I don't know that Memorial has anything to lose. You know, their punter's not that good. I mean, if he does get it off, they might pick up 10, 15 yards. Fourth down and two. They're going to go for it here. 321 left to go. If they, don't, if they don't get it, look for uh, look for Coach Jared Hurt just to. Uh, They're in motion. They didn't call it quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper, and he's got a lot of room, and he's going to go. Brooks Sherrill is, has a chance here, and he gets. Back judge is in the way. Yep, and he's going to score. Their tailback was moving forward at the snap. Antonio Cook with a 92-yard touchdown, or 82-yard touchdown. Chargers uh, score with 2.53 left to go here. In the fourth quarter, make the score 34-13. You know, we're now going to be, if he, if Juan is good with the extra point here, I don't know if 70 is. 78 going to get down the field, Coach, or is he going to make it or not? He's trying. He's trying awfully hard. Looks like me trying to go down the field. He is there now. 72. 72. What is his name? 
Jayton, Jayton Stewart. Stewart. Jayton made it. Oh, they're going to go for two. They hand it off to Mojo, and Mojo, oh, there's a flag. I don't know what we did. See, they call that down there, and they don't call this motion down here. I, I don't quite understand. Well, we'll take a couple minutes to sort this out. I don't think he got in. Do you think he got in? or? Well, there was no signal whether it was good or, you know, no good. Usually, even though there's a penalty flag on the play, they'll either signal that the try was good or no good. Personal foul face mask against the Zebras. What do you know? I'll tell you, maybe that's how we're tackling so good. We're just grabbing hold of anything we can see. There'll be uh, the try will be from the one and a half yard line. Look for uh, Memorial to go for two again. They're not giving up. And I don't think he converted, did he? So they'll they'll replay the down. If he converts it, they decline it, probably take it on the kickoff. We're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Looks like the ball's just outside. The, it's got to be at the one-and-a-half-yard line, doesn't it? Well, it sure looks like it's more like the one. Look at the down box over there. Well, Where's now it? they're bringing in Juan to kick it. If you go for it from the three for two. <laughs> and now from the one and a half. Kick it. One, the kick is up and the kick is good. Good. So the score, your Claremore Zebras 34, the Memorial Chargers 14. We're now at 20 point differential. We can't let them get the ball back and score. We cannot lose our 15 point cushion. So there is some urgency on Claremore's part to try to score. And we I don't think we need to maintain our 15 point differential. Right. And you you definitely want to. I know Coach Hurt would have loved to have uh, kept the shutout going. Likes to get these other kids in the game. He's not uh, he's at a dilemma. Does everybody play or do I You know you, we're going to win the game. Claremore's going much. They really haven't had him fake it and him no, run the they other did. way with it. And Claremore's going to win the game, obviously, but again, a lot of people don't realize that this 15 points is important, a margin of victory. And so... Uh, it could mean the difference if uh, oh, sure. three teams ties, whether you go on the road or whether you stay at home. Or even make the playoffs. The, or make the playoffs, yes. And so uh, it's important. Is our hands team on the, on the field right now? I don't think so. This is not our onside return, is it? It doesn't look like it. We've got uh, Velasquez. Yes, and and uh, Valen Williams. Not that they can't. Not, and, yeah. Uh, you got to think they're going to onside it. Fifty-five is up at the top. Maybe they told somebody besides Juan. Yeah, they're shifting over here. Eighty came to this side. <laughs> Oh, they're still running people oh. out on the field. There we go. We're all set now. now. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. And uh, the ball that they touch it. I think Memorial touched it before it went 10. And there's a flag on the field. Yeah, if you he, touch it before it goes 10, is that the flag? Yes, that should be the flag. Okay. Memorial touched the ball before it got to the uh, went the required 10 yards. There will be a flag. And our officials are discussing. It's I'm not, not this too hard. sure why the discussions are either. taking it's so not long. Not this hard. Illegal procedure Either. called. That's what it is. Against Memorial, I'll go ahead. But is the ball right there? Do you not get five yards, or do you just get the ball right there? Well, we should get the ball right there where the illegal touching. So illegal procedure. Okay, he's still. given us a signal <laughs> twice. He was like a uh, boat propeller there. He was one. I didn't think he was going to stop the procedure. Mm -hmm. No yardage assessed. Zebra's taking over. 2.53 leading. Oh, now they're no, going to mark there's the five. five. There we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's not on the line. Well, I promise I wouldn't say it again. You brought it up twice. 2.53 left for the Zebras. First and 10. 
Ball on the Memorial 44-yard line. Claremore up 34-14. Murdoch hands the ball off to House. He looks for some room on the left side. He finds Stay it. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Parker's Hang on fighting. To the ball. Hang on the ball. Good, Good job. job. First down. Parker House, he gets up kind of cramping. He's, uh, nice to see House get a good run down. Uh, I mean, a nice run without being met at the line of scrimmage. Charger down, 57. Elvis Grayson was down. Slow to get up. He may huddle with us. I don't know. I thought about naming my son Elvis. What about that? Did you think about naming your son Elvis? No, I wanted to name mine Duke. Duke? After John Wayne, Marion Morrison. Marion, yeah. His real name, Marion. Yes, I was going to name him the Duke. Duke! You know. Instead, you named your dog that, right? No, I wanted to do that. I haven't done that yet either. What's your dog's name, Coach? Uh, Ernest. Ernest. Is it a basset hound? Uh, No, he is a... uh, He's a, uh, what would you call a multi-crossbreed? A a stray. A diversity dog? He showed up at our house about six or seven years ago. Wouldn't leave? I tried to kick it and run it off. I shot it with a BB gun. No, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He is just kidding, everybody. He did not no. kick the dog or shoot the dog. I just tried he to get was it out of the just yard. Just kidding. shoot it out of the yard. Well, He's after about- just kidding. He did not do any of that. He's loved the dog ever since it showed up. Well, and he nice has. Run yes, you have. House. Get the first down. Anyway, he's become part of the family. Uh, he didn't run off. After three days, my wife said we better feed it. So we started feeding it, and he's been. Uh, That's actually how I got to stay at my house. I hung around <laughs> till my wife decided to feed me. And, and, uh, Looked like she's doing a pretty good job. Easy, easy. Third down and one. Upcoming minute to go in the game. Zebras will go above 500. And the ball off to House, and he breaks it outside. He's looking to stay in bounds. Oh, he gets the first down, and that's going to do it. He gets out of bounds at the five-yard line. Running. The clock's running for they some never reason. Stopped they it. haven't stopped the clock. There it yes, is. There we go, finally. But here, this, uh, the game's over now. We Claremore will not score. I know Coach Hurt. He won't, uh, he'll take a knee twice, win the game 34-14. No reason to embarrass Memorial with another score. And uh, some of our players want to score. But I really question. Well, we're in a – actually, we're not in a victory formation. He might hand the ball off. But this will be the last play unless it's an incomplete pass. Well, we do hand it off to House, and he uh, he's met at the three, and he's going to be brought down there. And that's going to be the ball game. By a host of Memorial players. Yep. Claremore's going to line up at the 50, shake hands. They're going to win this all-important 5A4 district game. Final score, Claremore 34, Memorial 14. Jace Hightower, big night with him. Uh, Three touchdowns, did a great job. A little concerned, uh, Parsons, just probably resting for next week against Skytook. Again, the game next week at Skytook will be a Thursday night game, fall break in Claremore. Kids will be out of school Thursday, Friday, and Monday. We definitely thank you for putting up with us and watching in again. Yeah, we appreciate it. Glad you're here. Thanks to our sponsors for everything. Everybody had a fun night. Good job, Zebras. We're moving on. Four and three. Four and three, and more importantly, they're uh, three and one in the district. Big, big, uh, big district play. So anyway, next for, three weeks will all be big. All big games. For David Green, I'm David Jones. Thank you, and have a good evening.